Welcome back to the next section of traffic training. In this section, we're going to learn how to configure entry points in static configurations. As you remember, static configurations is where we make all the configurations for traffic itself. And included in the static configurations is the entry point. And the entry point defines exactly which ports or hosts or different configurations are allowed to actually ingress into traffic so it can be routed to the routers and services within traffic. So we can actually define exactly what we want to come into traffic. For example, you can see HTTP domain comes to address 80. Uh, HTTPS goes to address 443. So we can define each entry point exactly how we want. We can also do some rules within the entry point where we can rewrite an HTTP request to HTTPS, for example. Now, the entry point configurations, again, can be defined just like we've seen in previous sections, can be defined in TOML, YAML, or the command line arguments. And again, we define which ports to listen for incoming connections or packets. And that's really the, the, the main point about entry points is we can define what can actually enter into traffic. Again, we can redirect connections from HTTP to HTTPS. We can also tack on some forward, forward header configuration. That means if we want to pass the header information to the back end, we can also configure that as well as a global setting or later on we'll figure out how to do that per service if required. And finally, we can override, override the default TLS, which allows us to put like certificates into the entry point to be defined. That means we can say domain example.com has this certificate. So any service that uses example.com will automatically get the certificate assigned to it. Now, again, what does the entry point YAML look like? We actually extended the existing YAML that we had. So the static configuration has been extended to include now entry points. And you see in the entry points, we have entry points web, and this is user defined, this name here, web. And then we can define the address. In this case, we have port 80. The second user defined entry point that we have is web secure. And again, you can name this whatever you want, but we just use web secure. And for web secure, we're gonna use port 443. Now, what would it look like if we were going to redirect HTTP to HTTPS? We would have entry point web address 80, exactly the same as previous. And now we're going to say the HTTP request is going to be redirected to web secure HTTPS. So it's quite easy to read, but you can see you can put a lot of rules in place to capture certain IPs, host names, etc. to route to certain entry points and services. And that's what we're going to explore a bit more in the next section when we start playing around with the lab. But the entry point YAML, the previous section here, when we look at the dashboard, now you can see entry points. We had three entry points available. So we had the traffic entry point, which is for the dashboard. We had the web port 80 and now web secure 443. And I deployed a temporary service, like a test service, which we'll use in the lab. And it's our cat application. So cat app. And you can see now our entry point web port 80 goes to the router cat app to the service cat app. And down here you can see exactly the entry point web is being used for this router detail. And we're going to get into this in further sections, but you can see now we're getting more use cases out of the static configuration. As we start adding more details in, you'll see the dashboard fill up with a lot more useful information. And eventually we'll get the TLS and middlewares assigned to this service as well. All right. The next section is static configurations, providers, and entry points. So let's take a look at that in the next section.